In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to reduce the size of a PSD Photoshop file. So I'm using an illustration to do it here, but it works the same if you're working with uh, photos, photo edits, composites, etc. And I've got, you know, a number of things here in my uh, layers palette which contribute to the size. And then also you can see that uh, from the zoom indicator here, the amount that I'm zoomed in is 16.67%. So, you know, there's a lot of space to go in and move and look closely. It's at this point that I'm 100%. So this is a high resolution image. And if I go up to image and image size, it indicates for me here that this is 17 by 11 at 400 pixels per inch. So the total size, <coughs> excuse me, is listed up here at the top at 6800 by 4400 pixels. So this has a pretty good image size. When I look at the PSD file itself, it indicates for me that this is 231 megabytes. This makes it difficult to upload. Uh, in the very least, and there are ways to reduce this amount. So, one of which is to remove the preview. So, about 40% of a PSD file size is a result of it manufacturing the preview. That little thumbnail that you see when you look at the file. Uh, you see this more on Mac than on PC. If I actually cover the entire thing with a white, uh, just a blank solid color, and I save that, I'm then able to upload the PSD file. Now obviously that covers it up. If you were to open it up somewhere else you'd have to remove that. But when it comes to transferring PSD files from one place to another this is actually pretty effective for ensuring that you uh, get a good result. So let me pull this open here. You can see that from size it has reduced this to 167 megabytes. So that's a pretty significant drop in amount. Now the next step that I can take towards dropping this down is just to reduce the overall image size. So if I go up to image image size and in this one is set to inches I could set it to pixels and do this by hand uh, but if it's set to inches I can also just reduce the resolution. So I'll drop the resolution to about 250 and see how that affects it. Uh, obviously it's not going to be as high res at this point but very often if you're trying to move a file from one place to the other it doesn't have to be as high resolution maybe you've worked on it at a larger size and then you're able to scale it down for the purposes of the projects in my class it can be reduced quite a bit uh, without any issue so if I make that change to it and then go in and check the file here Oh, well, I have forgotten to save. Let's do that. Here we go. It dropped the size down to 84 megabytes. So you can reduce it a lot by going in and altering the resolution. If you're somebody who's uh, working on the first PSD project for one of my classes, and you're reducing the overall image size, you'll just want to make sure that pixel-wise you don't bring the width down below about 1,500 pixels because I can still look at it, assess it from that point, but don't bring the width below 1500.